backs against glass again. He's reaching for balcony trying to pull me in. I can feel sweat me quake and then I awake. The phone rings and I try to shake off the crazy. Act like the old me strong and carefree but I think I'm bleeding internally and wondering if death is than fighting monsters and nightmares in my sleep the phone screams like she can't wait any longer I pick up the receiver hoping to feel stronger I got your number from Kita she says have a minute so I wait listen I know you're going through something miss but if you don't mind I'd like to tell you about my little sis now honestly I think of running away and I hear myself say okay we called her little bit, and she was a bad chick. She said stuff like, let a fool try to put his hands on this. I got people, he better self-correct. I ain't studying his mess. Now one night, their conversation got a little heated like she was used to. And in one swoop, there was little bit in big man's face, checking that brother, putting him in his place. But big man wasn't having it that night. This wasn't going to be their usual fight with blood, sweat, and tomorrow to forgive. He shoved her out the way, so she put up a fist. And before Little Bit could get the gist of what's really happening, he popped her one more time, staggering to the left a little. She shook it off. In her mind, this battle wasn't lost, just on pause. Her nigga better back up fighting words came. She was going to kill him with the grip behind her pain. Who the hell do you think you are, she slang. I will cut you. I will hurt you. I'll get Ray Ray and them to murder you. And before she could finish saying the rest, he grabbed that little bit and snapped her neck. She had said it all before, told her friends about how she set him straight and he better never put his hands back in my face, but eventually he always did. And that night was the end of it. Rest in peace, little bit. She was a bad chick but I made a choice not to end up just like little bit wake up come on get up now